course. Uh, so my name is Michael Robatsos. I'm a professor of AI at the University of Edinburgh, and I came to Edinburgh uh, around uh, uh, 15 and a bit years ago. Uh, I am Greek by birth. I spent the first few years of my life in Greece, uh, then grew up uh, in Germany, in the south of Germany, in the, in the Bavarian Alps, a very pleasant way to grow up um, until you get a bit older, and then you're looking for uh, bigger places. Then I, I did my first degree in computer science uh, in Zabrücken, and uh, then uh, my PhD in Munich, and I worked for, a, for an AI startup during the uh, dot-com bubble in the early uh, 2000s in Frankfurt. And uh, then I was appointed lecturer at the University of Edinburgh in 2004, where I then went on to be a senior lecturer, reader, and, and professor. And now I've been leading uh, the Bay Center, the uh, new center the university has started to, uh, in order to support innovation in AI and data science and other key new digital technologies uh, from about um, just over two years ago. Uh, my uh, story around coming to Edinburgh was that uh, when I was an undergrad in Germany, and uh, Zabrücken was one of the other kind of key places in Europe uh, that did a lot of AI. And this was my motivation to go uh, to this otherwise uh, uh, not very well known um, town. And when I went there and uh, talking to my professors and so on, I found out that there had been really a long-standing um, collaboration with, uh, with Edinburgh. And Edinburgh, in fact, is not only a 400-year-old institution that has a lot of uh, huge track record in uh, creating knowledge and changing the world, um, but also it, it was the third place in the world that did AI, starting in the uh, mid-60s, just after uh, Stanford and MIT. We were the first place where you could uh, study AI in Europe and um, it remains one of the biggest computing departments in Europe uh, building on that on that history so I found out about these things uh, when I was an undergrad and my first um, my first uh, uh, visit to Edinburgh was as a, as a visiting undergraduate student uh, when I was around 21 and I was so impressed by what I saw and by the city and by the university and by the department that I um, decided to come back when the opportunity presented itself uh, after my PhD. Um, so what's really uh, interesting about uh, Edinburgh it, that is that it has uh, not just this track record, but it also is really very active in, in all areas of AI. So if you just take the School of Informatics, um, which is, as I said, one of the biggest computing departments in Europe, it, that school uh, has produced uh, over 50% of the papers that are submitted to the um, uh, regular research assessments that the government conducts um, compared to all of the UK. So that's a pretty impressive achievement. And it has uh, six research institutes and nowadays four of these um, focus on AI. Uh, the other thing, two other things have changed in the meantime. Of course, AI itself has uh, almost, we could say, exploded in terms of attention and impact and adoption in industry. And the other thing that has happened is, of course, that uh, we used to think of tech and of digital as kind of one industry, and now uh, we see that it's actually impacting all markets and all sectors. And uh, that sort of explains a bit my role in the Bay Center. So the Bay Center um, is named after Thomas Bayes, who, uh, as many um, viewers will know, was uh, established some of the mathematical foundations that underpin a lot of modern statistical machine learning. And uh, he was briefly an undergrad at the University of Edinburgh. And that's why we decided to name the center after him. The, um, the center is part of a, of a massive investment in data-driven innovation. So in the Edinburgh region, we have what's called a, a city region deal, an economic development program that's about uh, one and a half point, billion pounds. And around half of that, around 600, 660 million will go into data-driven innovation. So it's a very, very ambitious plan to really boost the regional economy and national economy through the use of data and AI. So in the Bay Center, um, that's the first of the, of the innovation hubs we will, um, the university has established using that investment. And uh, so um, we have very ambitious targets. Over 10 years, uh, we want to create, we want to upskill 100,000 people in data. We want to create 400 new companies. We want to, um, um, also really uh, work with at least a thousand external organizations to help them 
benefit from the use of data. And the, so the anticipated benefit to the economy is, you know, will be somewhere in the area between two and a half and five billion um, gross value added to the to the regional and Scottish economy. And uh, my my role in this as, as director is really to coordinate the over 40 partner organizations we have in the building, some academic, uh, many industrial, some public sector. And this goes really all the way from startups and SMEs to big corporates with different types of, uh, of relationships between them. And um, what we really, what really our task is, is to create an environment where we bring academics and students, uh, so all that talent and the smarts um, together with industry challenges and with investment from the, um, the business world to really drive innovation, to, to accelerate innovation, all the way from, from supporting startups to doing big R&D projects. Uh, so I'm, I'm in charge of kind of coordinating all of that and uh, for the overall uh, delivery of that program. We've only just started a couple of years ago, but we're making great progress. And um, this has also kind of, uh, on a personal level, broadened my horizon uh, a bit. So uh, rather than just uh, focusing on research, I'm now uh, much more looking to uh, build established partnerships with other organizations to really turn that research into a real world impact.